Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you guys back in time on a project that I worked on in 2020 during the height of the pandemic. Let's go. Ay, ay. My bop and I'm like me too. No roof on my top and my babe see through. Hating on the pen, don't stop, shit ain't gon' feed you. I've been all on my grind, so why I need you? Baby girl, love my bop and I'm like me too. All right, so to offer you guys a little bit of backstory, this particular client was referred to me by a friend of mine who's an architect. So I'll take you on a journey of her office prior to her move and show you what that looked like. And then we'll talk about what she wanted to, you know, what her vision was for her new space. Her plan was to purchase a home in downtown Temecula or Old Town Temecula and convert that into a business. And her business is actually State Farm. She's a State Farm agent. All right, guys. So this is the prior office. Very tiny, very cluttered, pretty moody, and just outdated. She wanted something nice, new, fresh, and more modern. Here's the property she purchased, which is the new office. My mood board. Before we go any further, just want to let you guys know about the process. Usually with an interior designer, each process starts with a discovery call where you have a 20 minute call and you go on and you find out more about the project and how you can help. And then the next step is to do a consultation. That is an in-person meeting where a designer will come to the space or meet you in a neutral space if the space doesn't exist yet. And we'll talk about what needs to happen, show you a little bit about what we do as interior designers, just kind of educate our clients so that they can make a more informed decision on what to do. Before we give you a walkthrough of the interior, let me show you what it looked like before she bought the property. This is the break room. That was the entryway. This right here is the conference room that they had set up. We've got the hallway showing you the bathroom and also one of their working quarters. As you can see, incredibly cluttered, not enough space. And here is the outdoor patio they converted into storage. We are here on site with our mask. Just um, finished measurements. Yes, we finished. Paint selection. We did exactly. some swatching on the wall. Yes, so basically we're deciding because the floors are really, really brown that we're going to go with a clean, crisp, stark white, which is our ultra pure white. Ultra pure white from, is it Bear? Yeah, it's a Bear. It's a Bear. There we go. Ultra pure white. And then so we're going to do the ceiling and the walls the same, nice, crisp, clean all the way. So we're also going to paint the cabinetry because our client does not like this exposed wood. So we're going to do a little bit of a cooler white on the cabinets. This is winter, uh, white. winter white Benjamin Moore. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of a tour around the property. This is basically a older house in Old Town Temecula that's been converted for commercial use. This is going to be a state farm insurance office. Here is the reception area where the guests are going to sit. And then this is going to be the reception desk area here. Then we're going to have two L-shaped desks along this wall on the left side. And in the very back is going to be the owner of the space. Her office is going to be there. And there's going to be a glass wall along the back way. So where you, where you see this wall here, stop. This is going to be the glass wall. So that she can see when people are coming in and out of the door. And she can converse with her team. Then you'll see the first bathroom right here. We're going to actually paint this uh, wooden trim around here, and we're gonna do stark white on the walls and on the ceiling as well. In the back here, we've got some storage, and this is gonna be the second meeting area. We're gonna have a oval round marble table here for meetings. Uh, he just wants a space that's large enough to seat six people. And we're gonna have some storage here, some lower storage here. We're gonna replace the baseboards, and we're gonna put a um, storage cabinet here, some artwork there. Also have the second bathroom here. We're gonna have uh, some storage along that back wall as well. Then this is her office. We're gonna eventually finish this door. 
and then on the back wall, they're gonna also put in a another sliding glass door so she can access the patio here. And there's a beautiful patio, guys. I love it. So there you go. Somebody's gotta do it. <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna have the second meeting area and another desk over here. Um, this room, we don't know what we're going to do with this room just yet, but we may remove this wall. Um, and now we're, in, we're entering into the break room. Here is where there's going to be a table and four chairs. I made sure to kind of measure a couple of round tables so that we could have easy accessibility because square, I just didn't want there to be a lot of jagged points. So I think round is easier to get around, no pun intended. The last office in the space, uh, there's going to be a desk here and a chair and some simple storage pieces and then we'll figure out what we're going to do in terms of decorating but for now desk and chair this room is going to be for storage purely the break room it's going to be a refrigerator here it's going to be a trash can here she does have a water cooler but we're going to put that over in this area so it's uh not quite visible because i mean i don't know about you guys but i have never seen a beautiful water cooler and so let's not see that guy but of course we need to drink water so we need to have it still so keeping it not visible is perfect everything will be cleaned up and i'll be able to show you guys a finished product Hey guys, just want to do a quick video. We are here on site and everything's looking amazing. It looks so good. Everything's been painted and now we're just finishing up the flooring and muffled. So, anywho, let's do a quick spin around. I'll show you what's been done so far. So, here we go. We have the flooring in the back that's almost done in this room. This is going to be the meeting room, the main office area. So you'll see in here, this has been painted completely. We're gonna get a new light fixture there and here and change out the mirror. And then we're gonna put a table here eventually, but that's gonna be happening a little bit further down the road. Here's the Ports been laid. Isn't that beautiful? And just very striking. Um, loving the gold knobs and the white cabinetry. Everything's very crisp, very clean. The window is no longer there. The slide the door is no longer there. And if you go into the kitchen area, you'll see that this. flooring together. This is going to be one of the offices. And this right here is going to be a storage room eventually. And this is going to be a second meeting room. Doesn't everything look amazing? I'm so excited. Um, just wanted to tune in and show you guys a little bit of the progress. So, so happy with what's going on. Um, we'll stay tuned furniture the desks are actually here they just need to be put together I'm so excited it's a great great day super rainy and gorgeous outside look at Temecula All right, guys, so that concludes the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like the content and got to see a little bit of the behind the scenes of the project that I worked on in 2020. Very short, sweet project, but it's very near and dear to my heart because there was a lot going on and I was trying to manage it the best I could. 
If you guys want, please hit the like button, subscribe, and if you're feeling inclined, don't forget to comment. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Turn my top and my babe see through. Hating on the pen, don't stop, shit ain't gonna feed you. I've been all on my grind, so why I need you? Baby girl, love my bop, and I like me too. No roof on my top and my babe see through.